asked to hear exactly what Tigrayan fighters are proposing. In an exclusive interview, I spoke earlier this week with Debrecht John Gebra Michael, the leader of the Tigray region and chairman of the Tigray People's Liberation Front. So let's look at this quest for peace that the TPLF wants. In November, the TPLF were within striking distance of Addis Ababa. Just explain to us why would you announce shortly thereafter that you plan on retreating back to Tigray and that you suddenly want peace after getting so close to the capital? Yeah, you're right. Uh, we're so close to the capital, uh, but we have to conduct uh, an assessment on the uh, current progress on the ground and uh, broadly on the diplomatic front. So we, have, we felt that uh, this conflict better to resolve it in uh, negotiation, in dialogue, before we even advance to the talks. And uh, this conflict from the very, very start, it was political. It should be so resolved so politically. I mean, it's interesting because I spoke to a TPLF advisor, Faseha uh, Ashkadom, who said that the TPLF hadn't ruled out. This was in November. The TPLF had not ruled out at that time trying to topple the Ethiopian government. So it seems quite strange that there would be this about face in terms of the TPLF's intentions. Why the sudden change? Well, as I said, uh, well, one of the major factors was the diplomatic uh, concerns. And starting from U.S., everyone was pushing us not to get into Addis. They say well, they have to withdraw from Afar, from Amhara, to address this conflict uh, peacefully. The same with the Ethiopian government as well. So the call were coming from every corner and were also, as I said, we haven't ruled out, you know, toppling the government. But, you know, we have to work with the international community. We just cannot step in by ourselves. But, sir, when you look at the history of Ethiopia, the TPLF ruled Ethiopia for about a quarter of a century and waged two very, very bloody wars. Can you, can you see why people in Ethiopia on the ground, some people might hear this and be somewhat skeptical? Well, we know, uh, you know, the, the background of our... Uh, political development uh, in the country and while we were uh, well governing as part of the coalition of uh, PRDF but yes there were so many political issues that should be resolved that needs discussion and that is one of our reason why we should not push because there are issues that have to address you know the, the several political groups of Ethiopia be it uh, with the Oromos the Somalis and others so Although we have created a coalition, that is another factor. There are issues that we have to resolve, that there are issues that we have to settle before we even topple the uh, government. So not only the military advancements that we have to consider, you know, political understanding, because there are many issues that we have to settle. OK, so what do you need from outside mediators at this point? We need, you know, this cessation of hostilities to, to, to be formal. Then after the humanitarian assistance, has to be facilitated. Our people are dying because of lack of food, because of lack of medicine. So our people has to be supplied with the necessary assistance. At the same time, we have to work also on lifting the siege. Siege on power, siege on telecom, siege on uh, every transport. There is no road transport. There is no air transport. There is no banking service. So the hurdle of our people also is, you know, the suffering of our people has to be considered as well. You need humanitarian assistance. You need the siege against Tigray to end. Once you do get eventually a ceasefire, what next for Tigray? Will you try to seek some kind of de facto independence for the region? I mean, given everything you've outlined, do you think that while Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed is in power, will the Tigrayans ever be able to live in peace? Well, that is a serious issue that should be discussed, you know. And that should be settled, we say, on negotiating table. So there are many issues politically that should be addressed. And we have called upon inclusive dialogue and the international committee also. Are you saying that you will try to seek independence? No, I'm saying we are looking for a negotiated settlement of all the political issues. Before going into it, 
we have to discuss on the cause, the cause of the conflict and uh, the solutions. And it is not, it depends not up, upon us and upon us or, uh, or uh, with the federal government. All the political forces of Ethiopia has to sit down and discuss. And then let's, let's come out with a resolution for how to move forward. So the TPLF has a, a partnership, if you will, with the Oromo Liberation Army. Um, where do they stand in this quest for peace, in this quest for a ceasefire? Are they on board? Do they want the same thing? Will you have to sort of split from them and go your own way in terms of pushing um, the central government for a ceasefire? You know, this political problem, although it appears it is between uh, Tigray and uh, the federal government, but this, this, this same problem, actually, it's about governance, you know, about it is a, the, the fight. The real reason for the fight is uh, a conflict between this unitary kind of government or imperial kind of government with multinational federalism. So all forces who believe on this, on this federalism, on multinational federalism, are all together. They are fighting against you know, the unitary government. So the Oromos, the Somalis, the others are the same bloc. So we have the same interests. Final question, sir. Can you definitely rule out that if a ceasefire was to happen, that Tigray will not, will definitely not try to seek independence? As I said, independence cannot come immediately. As you know, uh, well, we are, in our constitution, we have a, a referendum. We have a, a right to secede, but there is a process, a long process. You have to engage the people. You have to engage all the political groups. You have to engage many others. So that's an outcome. It cannot be an, an immediate kind of re result. The immediate one is this, this uh, possession of but utilities and the ne negotiate ceasefire. We have to go to dialogue. It takes a long time. So I will not say there will be an outcome of secession immediately. OK, but it is a possibility. It is a possibility that eventually Tigray would seek independence and try to break away from the rest of Ethiopia. That is what you're saying. It is a possibility. Well, I, will, I don't want to, you know, to guess. As I said, at the, end, at the end of the process, that will come later on. It can be independence or it can stay in federalism. or comp There are many options, so it's not just one. Okay. People have to decide. It's not me or my party or my government. My exclusive interview with Debrett Sean Gabriel Michael, leader of